गुड मॉर्निंग रिस्पेक्टेड जजेस हेलो आई एम आर्यन मनीष सिन्हा ऑफ क्लास टेन एविट इंटरनेशनल स्कूल लखनऊ माई टॉपिक इज डिजिटल इंडिया आउट ऑफ विच आई हैव सेलेक्टेड करप्शन I was always fascinated to talk on this topic, and I hope that I will utilize this chance wonderfully. Before we start, let's have a look on some moving figures related to corruption in India. India is the 76th least corrupt nation out of 175 countries. This is not such a satisfactory figure. We have to stop this corruption and has to fight against the corruption to become one of the leading corrupt-free nation. Corruption can't be stopped by the speedy movements that are going all around India. How to stop corruption? We have to hang our heads in shame, not because of those who do corruption, but because of those who condone it. Understanding corruption is the first step in fighting against corruption. The real cause of corruption is our greed. which is an inborn instinct of human being we have to understand that greed is only related to corruption just as hunger is related to food it is impossible to remove greed from human beings no laws no moral education or no campaigns can remove greed from human beings rti and jan lokpal are good options for reducing corruption but they cannot eradicate corruption our strategy has nothing to do with greed let it be there in humans we have other options to eradicate corruption we know that corruption cannot be cannot sustain without a suitable environment so our solution is in other words it is possible to root out corruption completely at all levels if we make the environment unsuitable for the growth of corruption so our aim is to find out the suitable environment that help the vigorous growth of the corruption and make it suitable for corruption our social system the judicial system and economic system have a very important role making a fertile fertile land for the growth of the corruption let us open our eyes and look for a clue our social system money matters everywhere in the society it brings respect dignity happiness esteem and security it also causes disparity in society by dividing the world into haves and have nots all people in the society want to make more money but there aren't enough opportunities for all to make money so people think about the illegal ways to make easy and quick money for enjoying their life corruption is one of the easiest way to make quick money corruption is rampant everywhere in our society but only very few get caught here on this slide you can see two photos one is of two or two men who are standing in front of a huge pillar of coins and on the right side in the right side you can see a image we show which show a poor boy or a malnourished boy and it is correctly said corruption makes wealthy people more wealthier and poor people more poorer our judicial system Justice delayed is justice denied. Our judicial procedure takes years and years, and after that, most of the accused in corruption cases comes out with clean sheets. The financial power, political power, and sometimes the muscle power of the corrupted people make it easy for them to influence all corrupt people, such as witnesses, complainants, investigating officers, and prosecutors, and eventually, truth seldom reveals before the court. even though corruption is widespread everywhere few people question this in the courts because nobody can expect justice in due times moreover getting legal assistance from efficient and experienced advocates are very expensive and the poor people cannot afford this
on these two slides on this slide we can see here we can see two photos one photo is of a law this log portrays the hindrance and obstruction of national wealth. In second photo, we can see a poor boy or a malnourished boy. This portrays the backwardness of our own nation, India. Our economic system. Even though our social system and judicial system support the growth of corruption, the real culprit is our own economic system. More precisely, speaking the monetary system, which is one that creates a fertile land for the growth of the corruption. We use a very inefficient monetary system using paper currency to facilitate transaction. Since this transaction didn't be endorsed by a third party like Central Bank or also known as Reserve Bank of India, RBI, this transaction becomes anonymous and untraceable and helps the people to make money by illegal means. Our monetary system, all social evils related to money such as theft, trending robbery and etc. exist in our society because of our monetary system in which one can make money by illegitimate means. It is very important that the income of each and every person should be endorsed by an authority to eradicate all social evils related to money. And this can be easily done if we use only account money for transactions instead of paper currency. <clears throat> New monetary system. In order to eradicate corruption from our society, it is essential to opt for a new monetary system that can monitor and regulate all transactions of people taking place in the country in such a way that nobody can make money by illegal means. If this monitoring and regulation is precise enough and does not delay the transactions, then the new monetary system is the only solution to put an end to all social levels related to money, including corruption. Advanced economic system proposes a new monetary system which replaces the anonymous and untraceable paper currency with electronic money and regulating the entire transactions taking place in an economy. Thereby, the new monetary system removes the suitable environment which is essential for the sustenance of the corruption. Is it possible? This question strikes you in your mind right now. It is not possible to monitor all transactions of even a single person in our current monetary system because it uses untraceable paper currency for transaction. But it is possible to monitor and regulate each and every transaction of 1.2 billion people of India using the new monetary system because it uses electronic money for all transactions. Technology has been developed and it has been already proved that it meets this challenge. The electronic money transfer using smart cards is very popular now. It is very safe, handy, reliable and instantaneous. Now, people are saying that our new or new 2000 rupees note and 500 notes, it is a traceable paper currency. The government of India has straightly rejected that it is not a traceable currency. Our monetary system, even though the electric money is very popular now, no economic system has utilized its most rewarding property that the electronic money can be used to monitor and regulate the entire transaction in an economy and thereby eradicate all social levels related to money. It is rightly said, prevention is better than cure. As per the strategy of advanced economic system, nobody can earn a single PASA by illegitimate means even if he tries his level best. The third party, central bank or reserve bank of India, RBI, will not permit it. So corruption and other crimes related to money cannot exist in such an environment. Furthermore, this prevention does not depend on the efficiency of investigation agencies or judicial systems. We all should take this right or the chance to make our country corruption free. Now we are going to hear about such a great leader who has fought for the corruption against the corruption in our country, Anna Hazare. 
किसान बाबूराव हजारे ऑल्सो नोन नोन एज अन्ना हजारे इज एन इंडियन सोशल एक्टिविस्ट ही इज नोन फॉर डेवलपिंग अलेज कॉल रैलेगा सिद्धीन इंडिया He played a large part in 2011 Indian anti-corruption movement. He has served in the Indian Army. In April 2011, he started an indefinite hunger strike to pressurize the Indian government to accept his demands on corruption. The government accepted his demands later, and he ended his fast. His notable achievement is that he also won the third highest civilian award in India, Padma Bhushan. One of the famous quotes: "Corrupt, corrupt politicians make the other 10% look bad." A great quote said by Henry Kissinger. Thank you. So in this project, I, the, I did the things like this. I plan everything that how I'll do the things, and then comes the research work. For the research work, I refer to Google and various websites for for collecting the information related to all these things. and then i laid down a plan and just made implemented it on ms powerpoint 2016 now i'll show that how did i make the powerpoint presentation in this i have used an animation all these topics that are uh, that are being visible all the text that are busy, uh, being visible on the slide has been has undergone some transitions this figures or basically the image and the text has also undergone the transition and this is the animation and after that the text all the text has been gone under the transition and again stand and again animation and also that transition same follows over here again transition again animation and again transition i have opted for animations and transitions because it makes my powerpoint presentation more attractive the transition gives gives it a gives the most beautiful effects to the text that can be readable and also people can enjoy its effect all both the images has undergone transitions also here comes a transition this is also transition and here comes animation and again followed by transition and again transition for the text and again animation transitions again followed by any animal trans animation and transition this things completely followed on and here comes the final slide of my presentation this has also undergone some origami animation and the transition and has a wonderful quote written on it corruption corrupt politicians make the other 10% look bad Henry Kissinger thank you